the six pounds, yeah, I think I should be pretty close to five zero there, Dave. Good evening. Pound snap. Using the Soft Rock V63 Raspberry Pi Creative Lab sound card Quiz software.
got Paul Alan Q from Kingman. Just making my notes here. And um, uh, Kevin from Gilroy. And uh, Dave W A J six W from um, my memory is uh, fading me here. Rosanna, I think. Is that right, Dave? I think that's right. Okay, uh, any others for the uh, columns, Matt? We've got about three minutes before we'll start with the preamble and get going. Anybody else for the columns, Matt? WB6 or AW? Uh, well, look who's here. W5GIE. Thanks for joining us, Wayne. Good to hear you. Good signal. Uh, anybody else? Okay, well, we've got uh, just a couple minutes, so um, Dave, I'll give you a chance to uh, say hello, tell me what's happening uh, in uh, your neck of the woods there in Central California, and then head back to me, it'll be about time for me to read the, uh, the preamble. Uh, WI6R, Dave, pick it up, WB6REW. You know, real fine uh, order. Yeah, had uh, great signals from everybody. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, JKN was actually, I think, the first station I heard on uh, here tonight, and I neglected to write his call down, so sorry, Kevin. And, uh, yeah, so uh, not much going on here. I, I have a little KWM2A that we acquired here uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Working through it, trying to get it on the air, and... Uh, we're up to the point of trying to get some power out of it and uh, haven't quite uh, haven't quite figured out what the issue is, but I'm looking at the uh, band switch uh, wafers. Uh, it's a very, very long uh, 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 fiber uh, shaft that runs all those switches, so by the time it gets all the way to the back of the chassis, there's a fair amount of twist on it, so I'm trying to make sure it's aligned properly. and. Uh, See if that's why we're not getting as much drive as we should. I've uh, gotten it up to about 15 watts DEP out, but we don't have enough drive to, to get it there uh, where it should be. So that's what we're doing, and I think it is. Uh, well, we're a couple minutes, I guess, before uh, before uh, uh, well a minute before uh, seven o'clock. So back to you, Warner, uh, and uh, very nice signal from. Uh, all right, now I've forgotten your your count. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Wayne, we got you on the payroll here. W5GIE, WB6RW. Uh, anybody else before we get started tonight? Okay, well, with that, uh, we'll go ahead and get things started. Got a good group here um, formulating tonight, so welcome, everybody. So officially, QST, QST, QST. Uh, this is WB6RAW, located in uh, Temecula, California. I'm delighted to be your host tonight for the Collins Collectors Association Friday Night Net. Uh, we welcome comments and questions on the restoration, excuse me, and operations of uh, Collins Amateur Military and Commercial Gear. All check-ins are welcome. You don't have to be running Collins equipment to join us. Anyone interested in Collins Radio is welcome to check in here tonight. The purpose of the uh, CCA, or the Collins Collectors Association, is to promote the preservation, restoration, and use of Collins Amateur Radio Equipment and preserve the history and the lore of Collins Radio. In addition, we provide a technical and historical uh, information archive for the Collins Radio. For more information about the CCA, its forums, activities, services, and how to become a member, uh, I uh, welcome you to uh, visit our website at uh, www.collinsradio.org. That's Collins Radio, one word, uh, dot org. 
and you can help our efforts by joining this fine organization. For added fun during the net, uh, you may want to join us online uh, at this URL, uh, tinychat.com forward slash CCA West. I'll repeat that. That's tinychat, one word, dot com forward slash CCA West. Just enter your call sign as your nickname and uh, click join room. You have to be able to see uh, some live video of the uh, West Coast CCA hands. Last time I looked, I was the only one up, but there may be other people that have connected here tonight. If you've got a webcam, go ahead and hook it up. I can see you and your ham shack, and you can uh, have even more fun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with that, let me uh, read the list that I have. Mm -hmm. And we will go in uh, groups of four. So, the first group I have starts out with Dave, W-I-6-R, in Tucson, California. Uh, and Dave, if you'll pass it to Skip, A6-L-G-L, in Santa Monica. And uh, Skip, you'll turn it down to Dave and, and uh, Tarzana, WJ6W. And Dave, why don't you hand it over to Kevin, WA6JKN, up in Gilroy, the Scarlet Capital in the world. And Kevin, hand it back to me, and I'll pick up the rest of the group after I check uh, for more check ins. So, with that, Dave, he's all yours. WA6R, WD6R, W, to make you up. Yeah, real fine. Uh, thanks, uh, Order and the, and the group. So, yeah, tonight we're uh, running our usual uh, call and death line. I was hoping to get the KBM2A up and on the air, but uh, it's, uh, it's decided to be a, a little bit of a project that I wasn't planning on. <laughs> SDR. Uh, you've got plenty of smoke there in the valley. 
But as I said, we're not immune here by the ocean either. As, uh, so carry on, and uh, congratulations, Dave, and uh, KWM today. I hope you get it going. So, over to WJ6W uh, there in California, Southern California, 36 Little Green Lights. W, uh, it's your turn. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, Dave. I'm sure he'll be back a little bit later. Um, so why don't we uh, turn down to Kevin, WA6JKN, way up in Gilroy land, WB6RW, take her away. Okay, well, uh, I, uh, hopefully I'm on frequency uh, there, Warner. Hello to Skip and Dave and Dave. Uh, of course, Dave uh, sounds like he stepped out WJ6W. Uh, I'm copying everybody uh, just wonderful uh, here tonight. Good copy. I'm on the uh, Collins KW Sugar 1, uh, running about 800 uh, watts uh, barefoot, uh, one, one kilowatt DC input with the, uh, yeah, the KW Sugar 1. And I'm copying everybody on the Collins 7584 uh, receiver. The antenna is uh, just an inverted V up about 45 feet, so the ends uh, slope a little bit. And it's all brand new. I put it up uh, here, what, a couple months ago, something like that. And I just wanted to re just replace everything. I've been, I've been playing around with 160 meters. Man, oh man alive, I, I've come up with some really cool uh, low noise uh, uh, configurations uh, for the 160 meter antenna. It's just spectacular. Doesn't transmit very well, <laughs> but uh, it sure does receive uh, very well. So other than that, not much going on here. Sorry to hear about the fires in uh, Southern California. I was watching it on KTLA uh, Channel 5. I have, uh, I have uh, that as one of the options uh, here uh, as one of the stations to check into just to see how our, our, our partners are doing down in Southern California with all the earthquakes and fires and everything else. It's nice to have a local news channel from down there to see what's going on. And boy, oh boy, was, those, was that fire uh, last night uh, just raging uh, mad. It was just a sight to see. And I, I said, oh my goodness, all those people in the mandatory. Can you imagine? I mean, I can't. I can't imagine getting an evacuation notice so late in the evening and then, uh, wow. So, uh, anyway, uh, uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, WJ6W is not affected by it. Uh, in other words, uh, you don't have to worry about a house burning down and the uh, same with Skip there. But the smoke is always a problem. Uh, every, anytime there's a big fire up here, uh, we, we get the smoke. And uh, it's, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, it's just you just might want to button up the house, lock it up, and jump in the car and go get yourself a hotel uh, miles and miles away. That's what we did uh, one year. It got so bad, we just... Uh, jumped in the car and went down to Carmel uh, area, Monterey Carmel. It's about 40, 45 minutes from here, and just got a place to uh, hang out there for a few days until the smoke would clear. Not that we were running away from anything, <laughs> but the quality of life and all those kinds of things, and and uh, yeah, especially if you have. Uh, anybody in the family that has asthma, it becomes a real serious problem. All right, let's keep it moving here. Uh, all is well. Uh, by the way, my name is Kevin. I'm located in Gilroy, California, uh, about 75 miles south of San Francisco. And uh, uh, also, Gilroy is known as the Gurlick capital of the world. So back over to you, Warner. You got a beautiful booming signal. WV6REW net control. WA6JKN. Okay, sounds good, Kevin. Gorgeous signal. Everything sounds good with your uh, KWS1 uh, uh, running 800 watts barefoot. Uh, you and um, Pete, K5PZ, uh, get the honors in describing uh, every time you uh, transmit with your KWS1 that you're running at barefoot. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, let's. Um, 
volunteer for uh, additional check-ins. I uh, was chatting with K7 CCA on Tiny Chat. So uh, anybody else want to join us? And, and Walt wanted to uh, chime in, so I guess to see if I can hear you. WB6 already. WB6 RXK. Steve, we got you. Uh, K7CCA, are you hearing me okay? Okay, well, it's, uh, anybody else hearing Walt, uh, K7CCA? a little bit later. Uh, any other check-ins um, uh, for this round? WD6RAW. WD6W. Ah, oh, you're back. Okay, Dave. We will uh, have you start out. Uh, you're in the premium group, but since you are back, I want to give you a chance to uh, uh, take your turn. So, with that, um, we'll go ahead and start out with Dave, WJ6W. And Dave, uh, why don't you turn it to Paul, K2LNQ, over in Kingman. And Paul, uh, why don't you turn it to W5 Whiskey Bravo Tango. That's uh, Joe up in Murphy's, California, up in Northern California. And then Joe, uh, why don't you send it to another W5, my good friend Wayne, W5 Golf India Echo. And he's down here in the Southlands in Redlands, California. Wayne, um, I'd like to turn it over to Walt if he's there, K7CCA. And if Walt doesn't pick up, Steve, why don't you take it, um, W6RXK. So with that, um, Dave, take her away. Okay, we're here, WB6RAW, WJ6W. Uh, sorry, I got called away on a phone call, so uh, I was tied up with that for a while, and uh, well, we're back now, so uh, uh, I'm not sure what the discussion is, if any, but uh, we're checking in here from Tarzana, smoky Tarzana, boy, we're, uh, we're in the middle of it, well, we're not in the middle of it, thankfully, uh, our neighbors to the north of us on the north side of the San Fernando Valley is where the where the uh, fire is, and uh, we sure uh, sure hope uh, they're all they're all uh, surviving okay. Uh, I know it's probably been mentioned, but 100,000 people have been evacuated, and we don't know how many. Holland's net. Pete here, N6 QW. So anyway, we're uh, we're suffering the effects of the fire of the smoke. A lot of smoke here, but uh, uh, no, we're in no danger. Uh, with the uh, with the fire. So anyway, that's the report. We're running a KWM2, a 30LY, and we have a 75S3B turned on just to add more columns to the lineup. So let me turn it over to Paul. K2LMQ, this is WJ6W. And I 6 we got some. Yeah, Paul, are you calling me? Over. Why is my power output